Hello. Hey, this is Greg. I hope you're well. I'm uh, coming to you from Glendale, California, near Los Angeles. Well, I'm going to share an idea I was playing with a few months ago, and uh, I can't say that it was a successful idea, um, but it was kind of interesting, and it might intrigue you, and maybe for someone else it will be successful. What I was playing with was drawing, drawing pictures, but instead of trying to draw a picture that looked attractive to my eyes, I was drawing and listening to the sound that my pencil made as I drew and just trying to make attractive sounds with the pencil and figuring that the drawing I got out of the process might be interesting and good and I guess I'll do it for you now. So I have a clipboard with a piece of paper on it and I guess I'll try, I guess I can't get that clipboard into the camera easily but I'll try to talk about the process but um, so if I start putting the pencil on the paper and drawing well for one thing, when you listen to the sound the pencil makes, for me trying to make a pleasing sound might be, for one thing, it's very um, steady sound without stopping or lifting. Well, it's not jerky. You might there are ways to draw where you make jerkier motions or sharper motions but if you li if I listen to the sound of the pencil the sound that pleases me the most is kind of a steady well I'm basically just drawing curves on this piece of paper so I guess at the end I'll show it to you and you can judge whether you like it but um, and I'm probably not putting as many gaps where I stop drawing. It's probably more of a continuous sound, which is just a slow sound. Unfortunately, you can't hear it, or may, I, I would imagine you can. It's pretty faint. I'll have to listen to the video again after I um, finish filming it. But um, those are the sounds now there I did a little sharper turn on the paper with the pencil and now I'm doing I am doing some sharp turns now this is new for me because when I was doing it before it was only slow curves but now I am doing more complex sounds or more uh, quick jerkier sounds so I will get a different look to this paper and I lifted the pencil off to take a little rest. Maybe I'll shift the pencil to my left hand and draw with that hand and see if that's any different. So I'm listening and sometimes I am I can press down a little harder and that changes the sound. It makes it a little higher volume and it oh when you push down it probably causes more friction with the paper and that changes the sound. So I've done that for a minute or two now while I've talked to you. Now here's the, what I ended up with. And it's, you could call it doodling. Um, but the question I guess would be whether it's a good piece of art. Um, now it, it would be better if I had colored uh, some kind of coloring um, implements or uh, ways to add color which I didn't set up well enough for this video so I don't have any color handy but I could do the same thing color with a ear to how the coloring instruments sound against the page and for sure it's a different piece of art than if I had tried to do something that was visually pleasing to me if I sat and doodled or drew to create something visually attractive, you know, I'd probably draw a person or uh, a plant like a cactus out on the desert or, you know, a thousand different things. 
but by listening I more ended up with something abstract. Well, it's kind of fun to vary it up, you know. Um, the only thing I don't like about this, I actually think this is a cool idea in theory, but I have noticed that when I do it for any length of time, it seems to make my eyes hurt. And I think maybe that could be that the eyes actually want to draw something that's visually beautiful and emphasizing the ears and the hearing the way I'm doing might bother the eyes. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what I think. So maybe I can do this, but only do it for short spells. Uh, when I noticed my eyes were hurting, I just stopped doing it, but I was in the mood to make a video, and I think this is kind of a fun idea. So if you're interested, you could play with it. I mean, in theory, you could draw using other senses, too. I mean, you could draw with saying, I'm going to draw in a way that this drawing will smell good. Now, I don't know you'd have to, if I did that, I can do that. I mean, because you may not understand that. That's not as apparent as drawing to make the pencil sound good on the paper. But okay, if I'm drawing to smell good, what I'm going to do is move the pencil in ways where I have a gut feeling that it's making a nice smell down there. Um, maybe it's bringing out the smell. Whatever motions I'm making is bringing out more the smell of the lead. So I'm making very slow back and forth motions. If it is bringing out the smell of the lead, it's not something I can overtly smell. It's more like it would be a tiny smell. But the idea is that it yields with those values in mind, with the value in mind of trying to draw that smells good, you're going to get a different drawing than if you draw something trying to make it look good. So for example, I've just drawn, oh the light's kind of bad, but you can kind of see right here, these are what I drew when I was trying to draw something that smelled good. And like I say, that's just more or less a gut feeling that if I move the pencil in a certain way on the paper, it smells better than if I move it other ways. I'm just going by my feeling for what kind of motions on the paper yield a nice smell or might bring out the sense of smell when the viewer looked at this drawing. Um, and you could do the same thing with taste or touch. You could draw in a way that you have a gut feeling that this tastes good or this makes a viewer think about taste or tells the viewer about things you've tasted or makes the viewer think about how the pencil lead might taste or makes the pencil lead taste better. I'm not saying that you should eat your pencil lead or that you want your viewer to go out and eat a pencil. Maybe just in their fantasy they can imagine what a lead might taste like and then if they think it tastes bad in their fantasy they can start sweetening it up. In other words, I guess the question would be how could something have a little bit of the taste of pencil lead but actually taste good? Or can you find anything in the taste of pencil lead that actually tastes good? Um, and uh, by drawing this way with this orientation you might uh, pull that experience out of yourself, out in the viewer. So, like I say, you can play with this. Maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe drawing should always be done just with an eye to visual beauty.